SeaWorld San Diego is welcoming some fluffy little flamingo oh, chicks. This is a reunion of sorts. Casey McKinnon with a look at the new members of the flock. Hey, Casey. Hey, Casey. Hi, you guys. Well, if anyone is in a bad mood, let the flaminglets put you in a good one because they are cute as can be. There's about eight of the flaminglets. We are going to refer to them as flamingo chicks because that's just easier to say for the sake of the live shot. However, they are adorable and they are brand new to SeaWorld San Diego. Last time I was here was probably about a month ago and they were still in their eggs. So I have L. O'Brien joining me this morning. This this must be so exciting for SeaWorld San Diego to have eight flamingo chicks here at uh, the park. Yeah, so we have eight flamingo chicks that are um, of varying ages. The oldest one is just under a month old, and our uh, youngest one is a little over two weeks at this point. Um, but they have gotten big enough now that they are moving around with our flock. And so you can see them here when you come and visit us. They are moving around in the water. They're trying to figure out how to be birds right now. So you'll often see them with their parents, kind of taking a little bath, um, even eating with their parents. So they are very, very cute. We are very excited to have them. Okay, well, if our viewers missed what we were here for about a month ago, was we were here for what they're sitting on, like the mounds of sand that you have out here. So talk about the process of what the flamingos do to uh, have their eggs on and protect them. Yeah, so um, they will build their nests, which are these big mud mounds, uh, and they can get over two feet tall. As you can see, they are quite large out here, and that's where they lay their eggs. So they have one egg between their pairs, and then the mom and the dad will take turns incubating that egg for about 28 days. Uh, and during that time, they will protect it fiercely. And then when their uh, egg eventually hatches, they will continue to take turns taking care of their chick for around three months. And then when they get big enough to be able to move around with the flock, they'll start to form what's called a creche, which is basically when they will hang, all the chicks will hang out together and protect each other while their parents are off looking for food. Well, I think I know the explanation of why the flamingos are pink and the chicks are born whitish gray, but I think you have a better explanation than I would for our viewers to explain that process of how they get their pink color eventually. So explain that, Elle. Yeah, so uh, as you can see, our chicks, they hatch that bright white color, and that's because they actually get that pink coloration from the food that they eat. So they eat a lot of krill, which is that bright pink color. And as they get older, they will develop that bright pink coloration. They go through what's called a molt, which is basically where they lose all of their feathers and they grow in a new set of feathers. And as they get older and they molt off their old chick feathers, they will grow in that nice pink color. And you actually can tell parents of chicks from the year before because when they molt, they actually will lose part of their pink color. So if you come back around this time next year and and there's adult flamingos that are a white color. It is probably because they raised a chick the year before. All right, very fascinating. I learn so much about flamingos every time I come here to see World San Diego. Are you expecting any more chicks or is the eight what we've got? This is what we, uh, okay. we're keeping. So um, our youngest is just old enough now to start experiencing life off of the mound, but he's still hanging out with mom and dad on the dirt mound right now. But very, very soon he'll start hanging out with all the rest of our chicks out um, experiencing everything out here, but they're super visible. Everyone here is super curious. They're off running around, yeah. swimming in the water. So if you come out, you will definitely be able to see that. Absolutely adorable. All right. Well, we are hanging out at SeaWorld San Diego all morning long. We're on our way to hang out with some BMX riders after this.